Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about Craftsman tools that are still made in the USA. Well, they say made in the USA, but are they? Hmm, stay tuned and find out. Hey everyone, it's me, Big D. D. Gooey, Dave Guido. Bought all those tools you just saw on Sears.com right before Christmas of 2018. I mean, I bought them, wrapped them up, gave them to my kids to give to me, and uh, I, I get exactly what I want. Good trick. It's amazing. But uh, let's talk about each one. Uh, so, starting off, this is the Craftsman 12 inch plastic tip hammer, model 38292. It's on Sears.com for 15 bucks. It's got four and a half stars, about 60 reviews. Uh, got, on Amazon, I got 4.9 stars, so that's pretty good. I always look at the reviews. Uh, it was added to the Sears.com site uh, July 26th, 2010. So I don't know if it's new old stock or what, but it does say made in the USA. So there you go. Tips are plastic. Got a hard yellow and a soft red. Feels like rubber though, but nice. They're replaceable. Cannot buy these on Sears.com, but you can find them on sites like Applied.com for about two or three bucks. The head is forged, uh, high carbon. The handle is flame treated hickory wood. Not too bad, but you know, it looks like the paint's already wearing off with uh, light usage. Varnish. Whatever that is. Feels good in the hand. They uh they could have they could have cleaned up these edges a little bit more. I mean looks a little sloppy. But I don't know. You can kind of see the uh some kind of markings there from the forging or something. I don't know. They could have done that a lot better, a lot cleaner. But it's not bad, especially for the price, 15 bucks. But, uh, you know, it says made in the USA, so that's good. It's a good thing, right? Uh, I know they're starting to come back. Now that they're opening more uh, manufacturing plants around the U.S., hopefully the quality get back to respectable levels. Um, but let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to mention retail prices, like the $15 for this. I never pay retail, but, you know, there's no need to tell you about discounted prices that are totally useless. I hate it when reviewers do that. Well, this is uh, usually 50 bucks, but I got it for five cents on the clearance table on Black Friday with a coupon, but you know, I'll mention the retail price. You can usually get them on, get them on Sears.com for 20 to 25% off. All right, side note, I record my videos in high definition 4K currently, so you can enjoy all the nitty gritty details with me. That's only if you're set up right, of course. So that means, A, you need to get off that phone, look up this video on your huge, glorious smart TV, and B, that glorious TV has to be 4K, right? Not only that, but you have to be able to pr have it properly stream 4K content. And you could do that through uh, Apple TV or Roku Ultra. If you haven't done that yet, I feel sorry for you, but uh, don't be so cheap and uh, get caught up. Believe me, it'll change your world. All right, uh, for the next one, uh, I'm gonna talk about this guy, the Craftsman Mega Mag, Mega Mag Magnetic Pickup Tool. That's what it's called. The Craftsman Mega Mag Magnetic Pickup Tool. All right, this is model 946947 on Sears.com for 14 bucks. Got four and a half stars, about 30 plus reviews. Also added in July of 2010. Uh, now the packaging on this guy, I'll show you the packaging. It says made in USA of US and global components. So made in the USA of US. So some of these are US, some are global components. Pretty vague, but hey, they're going in the right direction. I don't mind that so much. Hopefully they'll bring it all back to the U.S. 
It has this, uh, this goblet shape at the end. The sides are shielded to prevent sticking to unintended surfaces, so that's nice. It has a telescopic stainless steel shaft. Extends up to 30 inches. Pretty cool. Has good grip with textured finger notches, right? For that extra extra grip when you're picking up something heavy. Let's see, there's some options for this guy. So it also comes with a light for the same price. Different different product, but uh, the same object for the same with a light for the same price, but that one only picks up five pounds. This one picks up to 16 pounds. That one's called the Craftsman Magnetic Pickup Tool with Light. There's also a pocket version for seven bucks, only picks up two pounds. There's also a magnet with mirror attachment, also picks up 16 pounds, but it's $17, just a few bucks more. There's also an extra long version, also picks up 16 pounds, extends up to four feet instead of a measly two and a half feet like this guy. Just two bucks more for 16 bucks. I probably should have got that one. Anyways, next we have the four piece hook and pick set with cushion grip handles. I love these guys. Model number 941634. All right, these guys are $9 for the full set. Four and a half stars on Sears.com. $14 on Amazon.com, but it has 4.8 stars. So that's really good. Hardened steel, grippy handles, really sharp. If we can zoom in there, get focused, focus. There we go. Uh, they have this uh, little nut driver on the end for, I don't know, in case you need to wrap a wrench around it or something. But I noticed that some of them are, like the handles are too long. So they're really inset there for some reason. But uh, I have been using a couple of these. So I'm, they're starting to dull out a little bit. But I use them pretty, use them pretty good. I've even banged on this one. You can see the shaft goes all the way to the tip in case you need to bang on them. But that just goes to show these handles, eh, I'm not too sure or confident that they're gonna stand the test of time. I mean, I don't think my grandkids are gonna get these handed down to them and be like, oh, look, look how great these old tools are. They don't make them like they used to. No, I mean, not like, not like some of these old craftsman tools, right? The granddaddies, this one's about 80 years old, female ratchet. This one's about 70 years old, right? These are made to, to stand the test of time. They don't make them like this anymore. Good stuff. All right, where was I? Okay, package on these say, made in the USA at the bottom of the package, but not on the tool themselves. So yeah, I'm a little skeptical, but says made in the USA on the package. They have the Craftsman Forever Guarantee. Good enough for me. Some of the options on these guys. They have a, a four piece pick and hook set that are the same tips, but they come with like a, a hard screwdriver handle. You know, like the traditional, traditional Craftsman hard handle. Um, let's see. Those ones, the, the ones with the hard handles are $9 as well, same price, but I'm not sure that if they're made in the USA. Some reviews say they are, uh, but with domestic and foreign parts or something like that. Others say they're made in China. So I don't know. These ones, the package clearly said made in the USA. Uh, there's also a set with what looks like a soft screwdriver handle, like the cushy kind, but they want 30 bucks for those. Not sure of the price difference, but hey, if you have those soft, delicate hands like me, computer hands, you might need that cushy handle, but uh, you can get those in, in the link below, just as any of these tools. All right, setting up for my uh, flat lay photo at the end. Okay, 
Now the three piece pry bar set strike cap. These guys are awesome. Heavy, heavy duty, USA stamp. Very cool, look how long that one is. All right, Sears.com for 40 bucks. Uh, I've seen them as low as half that cost on Sears.com. So they also got four and a half stars. Starting to see a pattern on Sears.com. Four and a half stars for all these. Makes me wonder a little bit. But uh, Amazon got 4.3 stars. Still, still pretty good. So let's see, this is 12 inch pry bar. Can't see the whole thing. This one is 17 inches. And the Big Daddy, 25 inches. Bigger handle, long shaft, bigger prying tip. Nice and sharp. I noticed that the 12 and 17 inch have the same width, same size tip. All right, same exact size, just a longer handle, same size handle. Right, and then the 25 inch tip is a little wider. See that? Maybe, I don't know, 15, 20% wider. And the handle is a good amount bigger. Let's see, a couple inches bigger. All right, these hander, handles, these handles are polypropylene with a pretty good ergonomic grip. They, uh, they feel pretty good in the hand, nice and heavy. The shaft is high carbon steel, has a nice black oxide finish, and that's supposed to resist corrosion. And uh, the, the shaft extends completely through the end of the handle. Right, and butts up against that striking cap. Striking cap uh, looks like it can take a beating. I mean, obviously, I haven't tested that out yet, but the reviews say that they hold up. So we'll see. Some of the options on these guys. These ones have lots of options. So there's another three-piece set with no striking cap for $30. Not sure if they're made in the USA or not, but that one is called the Craftsman Three Piece Pry Bar Set No Strike Cap. And that's the name of it. There's another three piece set also with no striking cap, but it comes with a tray. Ooh, the packing on that one says it's made in the USA, but it's not on the handle like these ones are. There's also a three-piece Craftsman Professional set for $60 with striking cap. Reviewers say that they are made in the USA. All these are linked down below. You can also buy these guys individually. So the 25 inch bar by itself is $20. Uh, and that is the same price with the striking cap or without when you buy it individually. So 20 bucks for that guy. For the 17 inch, it's $15 by itself. And for the 12 inch by itself is $12. $1 per inch. There's uh, some longer ones that I'd like to get. Uh, so there's a 31 inch version for $25 and a 36 inch version for $32. But uh, this is a cool set. Can't wait to use them beat them up. All right, and lastly, for the Craftsman three-piece screwdriver set finger bit. All right, now I was real skeptical, skeptical about these guys. I've had my eye on them for a while at, on Sears.com, and uh, they're, they retail for $9, four and a half stars, uh, there was a time <laughs> at that time and at that time I needed a few more dollars in my order to get free shipping. So, and then at that time these were half price. So 
So I added them to the cart. There's nothing on the tools, but the packaging says made in the USA of US and global components. So still a little vague, not exactly sure what that means. Uh, on the package, it also says patent pending. So that's interesting. These were posted on Sears.com in 2010. I wonder if that patent ever went through. They'll look that up. Uh, it has a steel shank with magnetic heads. There's some complaints about these, but they seem pretty strong, strong enough at least. There's a standard Phillips and quarter inch socket adapter. Pretty versatile. I mean, these are inter changeable, so you can you only use one with all three tips, I don't know. The back of it on the top has a quarter inch drive if you need that extra torque or something. So maybe, I don't know, one day I'll be able to use my, my trusty old breaker bar. This old guy, Circle H, also about, probably about 70 years old, but I thought that might be fun to use that as a, as a screwdriver or socket or get in those tight spaces. I mean, sometimes you really need to get those tight spaces. These are, these are the kind of tools that, and this is one of my favorite quotes, right? It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So these have knurled aluminum handle, color coded for some reason, can't figure that out. They're all the same part number. 41380. At first I thought they were pretty Mickey Mouse, wasn't sure, but last weekend, of course, I was under the dashboard of my son's Jeep and lo and behold, I needed this guy and it was perfect. I'm so glad I had it. So some of the options on these are, they have these adapters. It's like a quarter or three eight drive to hex female adapter. It's called the three piece finger grip socket adapter set. And there's some other brands that are ratcheting very similar to these, but ratcheting, these aren't. Gear Wrench offers one that's a, a three axes gimbal and, and it swivels. Looks pretty interesting. I don't know. But it's ironic that uh, Gear Wrench and Craftsman both come uh, it, uh, from the Apex factory uh, when, when they say made in Taiwan or China. All right. So that's it for this tool review. Hope you liked it. Consider liking and subscribing, and don't forget, keep the dirty side down. Later.